Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, August 3rd. I hope everybody's doing okay this morning. Before I head off to work, I just wanted to um, say a few words. I saw that uh, DFK had gone live last night, and um, there was a short like six minute, seven minute, eight minute, I don't know, or so live that he did where he was talking about hypocrisy. And I got about three quarters of the way through it. And um, I agree with him uh, and a lot of what he says. And since I've been there myself before multiple times, I wanted to say a few words to him personally about some of his um, ideas that uh, he has regarding other people and hypocrisy. So, DFK, I I hope that uh, you don't get upset at me. I want to play it um, and then commentate, you know, from time to time on it. But really, it would just it's just me speaking directly uh, to you, you know, kind of point and counterpoint. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. And this stream like 20 minutes ago or something like that. Um, I have created streams in the past and then changed my mind. Um, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, basically like people saying, well, my drug is better than yours. Bullshit. Drugs are drugs. Mine is alcohol. Mine specifically is beer. Uh, yeah, I went to rehab. Um, shit. When was it? Somewhere around the end of February. I was there for 30 days while I was there. Fantastic got through my 30 days didn't have any desire to partake in my drug of choice which would be alcohol get out of there come back home to where all the real stress and everything else lives and exists uh, so yeah I'm, I'm 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 back drinking again so dfk uh i don't know uh, if you remember or not, <clears throat> but on um, when you came up on my live uh, a couple of months ago, right? I mean, we we said, or I said to you that you know relapse is a part of this deal. It doesn't have to be, but all too often it is, right? And uh, you know. We were also talking to you about continuing to work your program after you left. And uh, you were very, I would say, resistant uh, to what we were saying. You know, um, I'll be honest with you, man. Uh, it was a bunch of excuses, you know. I'm waiting for this. This other thing hasn't happened yet. This other person hasn't gotten back to me, you know. Um, stuff like that. So, you know, um, our sobriety and our program, that responsibility falls squarely on our shoulders. No one else's. You know, um, the rest of the world doesn't need, want, <clears throat> or care if you are sober or not. Um, that's just the bottom line, you know. Um, people will tell you they care. People will tell you they want you sober. Um, and I'm not saying that they're lying 
necessarily, but when something doesn't belong to them and put yourself in their shoes with what I'm about to say, when something doesn't belong to you, right? You can't possibly care for it or about it near as much as if it were your own. Did my rehab go to waste? Um, I'd like to think not. Um, I did learn quite a few things while I was there. Um, however, I am so tired of people that do not drink telling me that I shouldn't drink while they're smoking their marijuana or doing their drug of choice and basically being hypocrites a drug is a drug is a drug is a drug if you're using anything to alter your mind status and you want to judge me for drinking alcohol I'm sorry you are a hypocrite so let's talk about that idea for a second Are you not judging them, DFK? Are you not sitting in judgment of them? You just said it yourself. A drug is a drug is a drug is a drug. And you have started drinking again. You said you have learned a lot at rehab, right? Well, did you learn that as soon as an alcoholic such as yourself ingests alcohol, that there is no stopping that consumption of alcohol until the next major problem in your life, hopefully DFK, either lands you in a hospital with no one else hurt other than yourself, or in a jail cell under the same circumstances because you cannot stop. Once you take that drink, you will not stop. You're an alcoholic. That's just a fact of life. You know, I don't... I don't even want to bring death into it because even though with or without alcohol that's a certainty in every one of my every one of our lives when you add the alcohol it becomes even more certain exponentially faster you know like a fast track to the slowest painful you know agonizing miserable death as opposed to living another you know 40 50 years of life who the fuck knows and you know just keeling over from some innocuous you know subneural hematoma or something But I would think, DFK, as an addict, right, that can spot hypocritical behavior, behavior, right, in other people that are not drinking, which you don't actually have any proof of, who are sitting in judgment of you, you, you know, I would think you could spot that you also are sitting in judgment of them because you're no different. They are no different. 
And the bottom line is, DFK, people say stupid shit and believe stupid shit without actually thinking it through. You know? I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know where you stand on the whole God thing, but part of this deal with stopping drinking was, uh, for me anyways, was that I was going to quit playing God. <clears throat> which meant that means that um, I no longer am going to sit in judgment of anyone else or myself right the, the Ten Commandments thou shalt not judge right God also says in 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 uh, that other book vengeance is mine justice is mine not mine, as in bedtime clowns. You know, in the in the in 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 some AA literature, it says righteous anger is better left uh, to those who are equipped to handle it. And one of the things that I had to learn. DFK as a as an uh, a hopeless suicidal alcoholic is I am not qualified in any manner to handle anger whatsoever. You know I have to give that stuff up to a higher power. <laughs> Lo and behold, once I did. Uh, I didn't have to get angry and pissed off and bitch about people being fucking hypocrites. Period. Straight up. I understand that med marijuana has been deemed a uh, medical drug. I get that. It, it does have some great properties included with it. Does it? I mean, heroin and cocaine can be made from the elements of the earth as well. Just saying. But to sit and judge me for using my drug of choice while you're using your drug of choice, that is not okay. That's the kind of shit I don't fucking need. It's not. Well, DFK, again, you know, one thing you're not seeing here <coughs> is maybe some of those people aren't necessarily sitting in judgment of you. You know, if you were all a bunch of heroin addicts sitting on Kensington Avenue and one cared for the other and said, please, you know, I really wished you wouldn't do this stuff. All the while, y'all are all sitting in judgment of yourselves. Is it hypocritical at that point? Possibly. Does it even fucking matter at that point? Only to the beholder. It doesn't matter to anybody else. You know why? Because even though they're a hypocrite, they're right, DFK. They're fucking right. Not going to help me. It's not going to benefit me anywhere in my recovery process. I am trying to get better. I'm trying to, to cut down the 30 days that I was on the mountain. I disagree with you, man. You're not trying. You're trying everything but trying, you know? That's my opinion, dude. But the thing is, I'm not sitting in judgment of you when I say this. You know, I'm only saying these things to you, man, because I've been there. I've done that. I'm speaking from experience. Which some of these people that you're judging as hypocrites may be just doing the same thing. Speaking from experience. 
You know, if you if 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 you are wanting something that is helping you in your recovery from other people, you're probably not going to get it, dude. Because again, that responsibility falls squarely on you and you alone. That I was on that mountain down at Lake Arrowhead. <coughs> I did not have my phone. I was not given any opportunity whatsoever to deal with anybody else's bullshit. I only had to deal with my own. And yes. Okay. What's different now? Do you know you still have the same choice? When you get out of rehab, you don't have to choose to deal with other people's bullshit. Why? Because you have your own to deal with. <laughs> you have a selfish disease. Work a selfish program. Make sense? Yes, I've got a ton of bullshit that I need to deal with, that I need to address. As soon as I Again, DFK, right? Trying, that word trying that you've used in the past in this stream and I'm sure every day since you've been out of rehab I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying well all these months later after you've been out of rehab and you've had all this time to not deal with other people's bullshit and deal with your own have you dealt with any of it? or have you just simply partaken in your drug of choice because that's the easier route As soon as I get out of there and come back home, my plate's overflowing again with everybody else's bullshit. I've not had any chance whatsoever to deal with my own bullshit. So, once again, since you got back home in all these months, you haven't had a chance. And yet, I still get fucking judged because I'm drinking again. Well, you know... Don't want to mention any names, but maybe some of my drinking might be because I am having to deal with your problems as well as my own. That DFK is a self-deluded lie that the disease you have tells you and that you foolishly believe. You are under no obligation to deal with anybody else's bullshit whatsoever nobody stops and think about that no nope, they don't want to do that they don't want to admit any culpability whatsoever but you know I what what culpability do you want them to admit to or acknowledge or address you know, you again, DFK, you act as if you're alone in all of this, and you're not. There are millions of addicts and alcoholics who are currently going through this kind of shit who, and who have gone before you and who will go after you, right? That's why we're nothing special. That's why pride is and ego and selfishness and self-centeredness are the root cause of our problem with alcohol with marijuana with opiates with I don't know fucking uh, you know skitzing out on scrubbing every corner of a fucking bathroom or a shoe addiction, or overeating, you know, just add to the list, add nauseum. Those are all fucking symptoms of the bigger problem, which is selfishness and self-centeredness. So when you're addressing these other so-called hypocrites, as if they're selfish and self-centered while you are being selfish and self-centered. Maybe just take a step back 
and take a breath and really ponder the idea that we are all in this together and one is not truly greater and or better than the other. You know, nothing's wrong, DFK, with you getting that concept through your head before any of the people that you are addressing and treating them as you wish to be treated. Just saying. I do love people. I try my best to take care of people when I can, where <sighs> I can, however I can. And that seemed to fall by the wayside. Oh, you're... Uh, Breaking news, DFK. You are a people, too. Why aren't you taking care of you? If you don't take care of you, how can you possibly take care of anybody else? Drinking. So it means nothing. You know, whether I'm drinking or not does not mean my heart stops working. It doesn't mean my points ain't valid. So yeah, you you have some valid points. You know, we all have valid points and can twist them and manipulate them to fit our what? Narrative. Oh, dear, but, you know, there's the truth out there, right? And the truth looms gloomily over any inward narrative that can come out of people's twisted heads and mouths. And the truth is, is that when given the choice, you will pick up a drink before you won't. When given the choice, you will use everybody else's shit as an excuse for doing so. The truth is, is you sit in judgment of yourself and thereby judge everybody else and make yourself a martyr up on your pedestal of selfishness and self-centeredness. And because you are truly unhappy with what alcohol has to offer you, the bottom line is the truth. This is not a narrative. This is the truth. You can't live with it, and you can't live without it. So if I was, like, smoking a shit ton, if I was smoking an eight, uh, I don't even know how fucking marijuana is dealt anymore. Um, if I was smoking a quarter ounce a day, but I wasn't drinking, would that be better? I, I'm at, I'm at. Absolutely not. Because you would still be a confused, deluded, disarrayed, wet-brained, dry-brained, I don't know, you know, mess of logic and emotion. So no, it wouldn't be better. I had a loss there because I really don't fucking know. But it's like everybody is so quick to judge and nobody wants to get to the root of the problem. Yeah, I got issues. I'm trying to work through them the best I can. Again, are you trying? I'm trying to deal with my own problems as well as everybody else's problems. Again, why are you trying to deal with anybody else's problems other than your own? DFK, this will kill you. Somebody else's opinion won't. But when I'm dealing with everybody else's problems on top of my own, yeah, it's it's overloading to me. But nobody seems to realize that. They want to sit back and silently judge me while I'm going through all that sh DFK, there will, they want to sit back and silently judge you? So in other words, you just want to make up a bunch of bullshit that you don't even have any fucking proof for and claim it as something that doesn't even fucking exist. 
think about that. Shit. I recently uh, said, let's see. My brother-in-law of 30 years died in 2018. My stepdad passed in 2019. My mother passed in 2020. My uncle passed in 2021. My father passed last year. Yeah, I'm not dealing with anything. I'm uh, my condolences. You know, again, I hate to break it to you, but people, pe people die. DFK. That's part of life. You know, and and the people that you're preaching to, they have people die as well. Again, no different, no better. Only possibly worse. I'm just free ranging through life, free Roman, whatever the fuck, however you want to clarify that. I'm just walking through life without any fucking anything whatsoever that I'm dealing with, anything that I got to think about. Nope. I got no issues. No, let me deal with your problems because you don't want to. Let me, let me, let, let, go ahead, bend my ear while you talk about your problems and disregard everything that I'm dealing with. Yeah, my plate's overflowing. Um, I've still not gotten over my dad's passing in 2019 and then all the, all the deaths following that. Yeah, I'm not dealing with anything. Um, <clears throat> keep drinking as a way to quote unquote deal with it and it'll never get dealt with. You'll never get over it. Oh, and possibly more than likely you'll um, die in the process of um, enjoying the misery of living a life. Uh, yoked and chained into slavery with King Alcohol as your God. Yeah, I do need therapy. Absolutely, I do need therapy. But I cannot afford therapists. As most Americans, I cannot afford a therapist. You know what you can do, though, DFK? Uh, there's tons and tons of AA meetings everywhere all hours of the day and all hours of the night. And even though Alcoholics Anonymous is not therapy, it is very therapeutic to go sit in those rooms for one hour. <laughs> it sounds so trivial, doesn't it? One hour. One hour to just sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen to what other people have to say about their very own struggles. And maybe you'll hear something that you identify with. Hell, who knows? Maybe you'll f feel the overwhelming uh, need to just spew out some of this crap. And some very spiritual, loving person or group of people will approach you after the meeting and tell you how valid your points are to a practicing alcoholic. And how much better life can be when you're not putting alcohol in between you and truly living your life. Well, let me deal with your problems because my problems don't matter. I hope everybody has a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I did create a, a stream a couple, three, four days ago, whatever the hell it was. And then... I had a moment of fear. It's like, no, I just went ahead and canceled it. But I jumped in this one a little bit early before I had a chance to change my mind. Um, again, I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love and appreciate you all. Peace out. Been there, done that, man. Too many times to count. You know, 30 some odd year veteran of this bullshit speaking here to you DFK you know um, I do want to let you know because I'm not sure if you know or not but that live uh, uh, on my channel that you came up on and talked to um, several people there was uh, is a young man who currently is in rehab right now um, because of that live because that young man heard 
what you had to say, what someone he is related to had to say, what Andrew had to say, and what you had to say on that live. That live is not uh, public on my channel because uh, I have never had your permission to keep it up. I was simply trying to help you because you had some uh, words you wanted to get out to some people, and that's what we did. Now, me personally, as a as a person in sobriety, which again is nobody's responsibility but my own, you know that news uh, when it was brought to me brought me to fucking tears. DFK, my purpose on this earth as of right now, today, August 3rd, 2024, was not to die a hopeless alcoholic or an addict. My purpose was to go through all of that, to do all of that, to hurt the people that I claimed that I loved, to take everybody else's problems upon my own shoulders and solve them and then turn around and be resentful at them for being human. And then to get sober and to be helpful, truly helpful, That's why in this very flimsy attempt to try to be helpful to you, I wanted to go over that live and just point out a few valid points to the valid points that you're talking about. But mainly, it was because I read today's daily reflections This is from page 77. In Alcoholics Anonymous, big book. And it's called To Be of Service. Our real purpose is to fit ourselves to be of maximum service to God and the people about us. It is clear that God's plan for me is expressed through love. God loved me enough to take me from alleys and jails so that I could be made a useful participant in his world. My response is to love all his children through service and by example. I ask God to help me imitate his love for me through my love for others. I would rather live that life than the life of <clears throat> trying to stop drinking, starting drinking again, and then being a thorn and a pain in the ass in everybody else's sides. You know, DFK, people aren't just doing to you in you alone they're just doing you know you yourself are trying to climb a mountain and the whole fucking point is to not use other people's heads and shoulders as the stepping stones to fucking get to the top of the mountain use the rocks because it's just not fucking polite to step on other people. Some of those people that you may be tempted to step on may not be trying to climb the mountain. They might be trying to climb, had been trying to climb the mountain at one point, but just got stuck at an elevation 
Some have fallen off and died. Others have used those people instead of the rocks to get to the top of the mountain. You know, I don't know why you want to deal with everybody else's shit. When you really sit down and think about it, that's the dumbest fucking thing. Why the fuck would you want to deal with somebody else's shit? Makes no sense. And the reason it makes no sense is because it's just a fucking excuse. I'll be the first to tell you, DFK, that when I got sober the first time, I didn't want to get sober. It was too uncomfortable. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your ass and say that I can't imagine going back. You know what keeps me from going back? Because I can't imagine it. I can remember it. I lived through it. <laughs> Thank God. You know, you talked about fear a second ago. I don't know why you'd be afraid to let go of your baby bottle of beer because you've already gone through all of this shit through your life with alcohol. Well, if you're not if you don't drink anymore, you certainly don't have to worry about DWIs. If you don't drink anymore, you won't be spending money on it, so your financial problems most for the most part barring any other financial bullshit you got going on, that'll go away. You've already been through all of these deaths in your family, which you nursed a fucking bottle to get through. So how is it going to be any goddamn different now that you're fucking sober? You know? I'll tell you how it's different. You've already been through it. You already know what to say. You already know what to do. Only this time, you get to do it sober, and clear, and coherent. And you don't have to burden yourself with waking up the next fucking day with all of that shame, and that guilt, and that memory loss, and all of that other horrible fucking shit that you feel. You know, like your body going into shock because it doesn't have the alcohol content in it that it needs to keep your nervous system from going bonkers and causing you all kinds of anguish and anxiety. What about your heart? Right? The palpitations. The chest pain. What about the dizziness? What about the DTs? <clears throat> I've never, I, I don't know that you've ever talked about the DTs, but if you drank the way that I imagine you did, maybe currently are, I don't know. But those are some of the most, that's some of the, that's the, that's the most unpleasant fucking uh, physical issue that I've ever gone through. And I've been through it twice. And you know, the second time I started drinking, it literally took a quarter of the amount of time for those DTs to come back. They came back faster and harder than they ever had. You know, I couldn't even write a birthday card, like write in the card for my daughter or my wife because I was shaking too fucking bad. I don't know, man. You know, but you, hey, continue on, dude. 
continue on taking everybody else's problems uh, and trying to solve them and ignoring your own and drinking yourself to death. I think it's a goddamn shame. But you know what? DFK, unfortunately for you, you won't be the first and you won't be the last. I hope you all have a good day.